Okay, this fly is called a light bright zonker, and the hook we're going to be using for this is a 2220. You can use 4, 6, 8, 10, depending on how big or small you want the fly. This one I'm using a size 6. The bead, uh, we're using a 5 30 seconds gold bead. And then for the back of this fly, we're going to use a zonker strip. And the body, we're going to use pearl ice dub, and we're going to give it a red throat with the red light bright. So, start out, we will wrap a thread base all the way back to where the bend of the hook starts. And then we'll measure out our zonker strip. We want it to extend beyond the hook, maybe oh, about an inch or so beyond the bend of the hook. And we're going to lay that over and give it two wraps to secure that down there. And then we're going to wrap in front. Now for the body of this fly. And we want to taper it a little bit. Smaller in the back, bigger in the front. What size? Do you get any size at all? Oh, yeah. I caught five. And this fly you can tie in white, olive, black, you can tie it with a white body, with an olive back, that's a good Lake Erie Shiner imitation. the white up about maybe two-thirds of the way up the hook and then we're gonna tie a red throat on. And this light bright if you're just getting started can be a little bit difficult to dub so it's easiest to just use a little bit at a time. Tie our red throat. We're going to pull this bead back against the red and we're going to wrap over top of the bead. Okay, wrap back and secure that bead in place. And then we're going to pull this material over top and stretch it and split it here. We're going to tie it in. it down with a couple tight wraps, trim it, and then cover up that nose. We're going to wrap 
and do a little bit more white. Yeah, he's got some. And then we're going to take our half pitch tool, or whip finish tool. Final step is we are going to tease out our light braid a little bit, especially in the throat there. And that sometimes simulates a bleeding minnow. If you string it out. Yeah.